Governor Spencer Cox held a ceremony to recognize a series of big education bills in Utah, and they will impact your children's lives in several ways. Fox 13 News political reporter Ben Winslow has the story from Murray. The ceremonial bill signing here at Hillcrest Junior High is calling attention to an increase in education spending and new programs that will affect your child's classroom. We have some, uh, some bills that we love. Governor Spencer Cox and Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson signed a series of education-related bills passed by the legislature. Lawmakers increased the amount of money going into public education this year. And I'm so grateful that the legislature agreed with, with our budget, putting forward big education dollars to really help our students and our teachers and families. 428, unfortunately, was born out of a tragedy out of tragedy. Schools are now required to implement anti-bullying programs in a bill named after Izzy Tishner, a 10-year-old who died by suicide. The girl's mother joined Representative Sandra Hollins and the governor at the ceremony. When we were at her, at her daughter's service, I made a promise to her that I would work on this issue and that we will work on this together. And she has turned this tragedy, turned her daughter's name into triumph and making sure that all of our kids are safe within the school system. Thank you. Another big bill puts free period products in every Utah school, helping more than 337,000 girls across the state. This is like a very simple, low-cost way to keep girls in class, to keep kids in classes. The governor also signed bills to expand all-day kindergarten and early literacy programs across the state, expand language services in classrooms, and make it easier for refugee and immigrant students to enroll. One bill blocks Utah colleges and universities from taking money from the Chinese government for foreign language programs. Native American students can now wear tribal regalia at graduation. So the eagle plumes are for like our family members who have passed on and you, know, you want them to be with you. Trinidad Cervantes and her aunt pushed for the law after she was prohibited from wearing beads and feathers at her high school graduation. They have cultural and religious significance. And I said, you know, something's got to be done. I have a younger sister who's in high school and I have younger cousins who also live in Utah and then I have from the tribe, there's a bunch, bunch of younger, you know, peers, and I want them to be able to express themselves and wear the tribal regalia. Last week, the State Board of Education voted to fast-track $10 million in bonuses for educators who picked up extra work during COVID-19 and as a result of staffing shortages. In Murray, Ben Winslow, Fox 13 News, Utah.